Topic of History, Sylvia Uzueta, of course, is the chair of the Women's Park Founders Committee, and she's going to come up and say a few words to give a little insight to this amazing building we're in, the history of it, the wonderful founders we see on the wall and who joined us today. Come on up, Sylvia. Yeah. Hey, Sylvia. Okay. Well, you know what? Give a little history, and then we can really sum up with the rock. I'm delighted that you're all here and I'm going to take advantage of your presence and tell you how this magnificent, almost crazy woman, when the project started, we were living at night very exhausted at AD Barnes after doing the selection for the company A Woman, an award that I founded when I was a superintendent of parks. And she said, you know, Sylvia, we should have a park for women, remember? Walking in the dark, I took you home. I was exhausted. <laughs> I left you, I went home, took a shower, ate something, spent the night writing a PowerPoint. I knocked at your door at seven because you get off like the chickens at five. <laughs> and for once, she said, I like it. <laughs> I'm going to call my friend, my dear friend, Mayor Stickland. <laughs> To take care of it, I will do a sudden breakfast, I'll do biscuits, and we'll win him over. And I said, you do that, but I'm going to talk to his wife, <laughs> Teresa Sorilla, because she's there all the time, and she will drive him crazy if he doesn't. So, Teresa, take the bow, because you had a lot to do in getting the car to happen. I'm giving you this brief background because many of you are new to this awesome space. On December 2nd, 1992, we inaugurated the park. It was going to be early, but there was a hurricane. Hello, sometimes that happens. <laughs> and we will open that time capsule, August 26, 2020. I reserve my wheelchair. You all do the same. <laughs> you know why? This is a critical day because we we're so backward in the state of Florida. We were the last state to authorize women the right to vote. Yes. And we're going to do something to improve that. There is a lot of stuff that has been done here. Roxy got a woman inspired to give $50,000 to do the picnic shelter because she had had such a good time when she was at the park with her mother. And we have a picnic shelter. We, the area commissioner is awesome. We have a walking path. We have a playground. We now will have a bathroom at the other end. We want, whomever is here from parks, make notes. We want a senior area to do exercising. We want lights so very hardworking people in the city of Sweetwater that use this park can come here at odd hours because not everybody has an eight to five job. And we need to be meaningful to the residents of this community. We love them and they are part of who we are. It's not just a park for famous women, it is for the, the park for aspiring women that will be famous if we give them a lift. Um, we should have a major donor place a light with a fountain in the middle of the park so there is a spiritual light guiding this park. And I just put that out there. If the parks department does it, it's very expensive, but if we get a private contractor, it might be cheaper. Uh, there is a synergy now that is essential for us. The park staff is supported. Jack Carter is not here. He's discussing the all new stadium uh, in the chambers and the budget and the cuts and so on. Kevin, if you are anywhere where you can hear my voice, we need you to really be supportive of our next project. We not only need this gallery, it is time that we have something else. And I tell you how long I have been bitten by that mosquito. I was a rookie vice president of the National YWCA and visited, they invited us to the cocktail party, creating the first museum in Washington. And I said, damn, that is awesome. And I had been dreaming of the day where all women not just Roxy, save their papers. Right. Men somehow think whatever they're doing is so critical. <laughs> Women need to save their papers. The first Hispanic director of the Tropical Council of South Florida, yeah. Maria Tejera, for instance, there, 
there needs to be yeah. archives. Archive. There's also synergy because the Parks Department has donated it up to the Miami Museum, so there will be space to save whatever we're bringing. We have the most brilliant woman that was not coming out, Dorothy Jenkins Field, that really has changed how we look at how Miami happened. It wouldn't have happened if some of the blacks would not be signatories. That is amazing. Her work to guide me to some okay, I, I am passionate, but I don't really have that type of knowledge. And her own partner is right that couldn't be here, Arba Parks. So we have luminaries that can guide us so there will be a museum for women. I submit that the time to get this done is now. There's always a reason the economy is bad, things are bad. The third millionaire donated 20 million for a day in the performing arts, and we hope we can entice her to also come here. Of course, we're talking total bank, Adrian Arts, and so on and so forth. Um, this part that this woman initiated, we created an informal group that was called the Agenda List. Some of you have a one-page review. We will revitalize the Agenda List. And it was founded on the premise that men take care of business in the tennis courts, in the bar, or playing golf. We tend to do that around the kitchen or in our living rooms. My living room will be open again for business. <laughs> I'm central, I'm right there, mayor in Coral Gables, right behind the golf course. We will need to revitalize the agenda list because that was the push. It wasn't just the brilliant women doing it, the ones that were powerful. In right. every last one of us, talking together to the people that will listen to us. So that will be happening. I close with a quote from Churchill. A pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity. The optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. And since we buy so much stuff from the Chinese now, I have a Chinese proverb. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that changes. Better to light a candle than to burst darkness. Thank you for being here. This is your heart. Sylvia, thank you. I like how you do business, Sylvia. Another great warrior in your army.